The Dreamcast, as I've probably mentioned before a few times on this blog, has been my favorite ever video game console since about the day it came out. Between the unique lineup of games, groundbreaking for the time features and accessories, and my lifelong status as a secret Sega fanboy, the Dreamcast has basically been everything I have ever wanted out of a home video game console. But you know what the problem is? Not even my endless devotion is enough to prevent the Dreamcast from being sort of fragile. Thankfully, I've had mine since about 1999, and it's never given me any problems, but you search the internet long enough, and you'll find endless horror stories of the system's GD-ROM drive eventually giving up the ghost. With recent improvements in Dreamcast emulation, I suppose I wasn't really worried about it, but I found myself wishing for some kind of flash cart or EverDrive-like option for the system so I could play on the actual hardware for a more authentic experience. After a few false starts, I'd almost given up hope until I'd found exactly what I was looking for. The GD-MU. Made by hand by a nice man in Poland, the GDMU is a small device that replaces the normal GD-ROM drive inside your Dreamcast with an SD card reader. Installation is super easy, much easier than I expected in fact, and it works with nearly any SD card out there that's 32 gigs or less, which is more than enough for almost the entire Dreamcast library. Loading the SD card is easy enough. Each game has to be inside its own folder, numbered 01 through 9999, and it works with nearly any file type of Dreamcast game you're going to find out there, although some games like Gaunt Legends here only tend to work with specific file types like ISO as opposed to CDI. Once the games are on the SD card, the system works much like a normal Dreamcast. In order to switch games, there's a small button on the front that you can press to change whatever folder the SD card is currently on. The only problem with this, really, is that you have to remember what folder each game is in, and it resets every time you turn off the system, so you have to press the button the right amount of times to get back to the game you want to play. It isn't a huge pain by any means, but it did take some getting used to, and I found myself having to write down what game was in what folder just to make sure I didn't keep starting up Quake 3 by accident. After I actually figured out how to get to the game I was intending to play, however, everything went great. There were absolutely no compatibility issues, other than the aforementioned problem finding the right file type for Gauntlet Legends. And games with more involved CD streaming audio worked fine, even titles that have traditionally had a harder time being run on most Dreamcast emulators. If anything, I might say that the load time seems slightly improved by the fact that they were running off of an SD card, and while it didn't make the games look or run any better by any means, I'm glad to say that there's no weird loading issues or frame rate problems while using the GDMU. All in all, I have to say I'm thrilled with my purchase. It was a little expensive, and since the poor guy makes them by hand all by himself, it's kind of a hassle to get put on the list and get one ordered and paid for, but frankly, knowing I have access to the entire Dreamcast library running on authentic hardware was absolutely worth it. If you're curious about how these work, I suggest tracking one down now, just in case he opens up the orders again soon. He makes a similar device for the Saturn 2, in fact, depending on what model Saturn you have, and I fully intend on trying those out as soon as I'm able. But for now, I'm more than happy with the sort of access and reliability I'm getting out of my Dreamcast thanks to the GDMU, and I wholeheartedly recommend these for anyone with a Dreamcast that wants to avoid the usual hassles and heartaches of collecting games for an obsolete retro game system. And this way, the Dreamcast will never be obsolete in my heart. Videotron 2000, I'm Tim. <laughs>